Hi students, how are you doing? Welcome to Simnaya on ISM and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. I see a black people coming out to speak up on what is going on, especially how watermelon people, you all know watermelon people. I don't know if you understand that, but I am going to say the name, not now, maybe later, right? Watermelon people are also coming out to say that uh, they are not supporting black people on anybody that is trying to support Kamala Harris to count them out. So they are feeling, I think they feel entitled that black people are supposed to support them to the end, like, you know, without even moving away or trying to also secure their own, their own future and the future of their kids, right? So I don't know why they are feeling like that, but I think that is a selfishness because I have never seen them come out to speak on most of the things happening in black community or the things happening to black people, the genocide going on in Congo, Sudan, Haiti, and other places, right? They are not the only people going through that, but black people stood out sincerely for them. They completely showed out, right? And they still are not satisfied because they feel like black people are supposed to give them their lives. Yes, just give us your life. And now people are already focusing on the coming election because that is really very important. Why? Because Project 2025 is a thing. And if you are a mother, you definitely will not want anything that will affect your kids because you all never can tell what it's going to happen. When I say what will happen to your kids, you already understand. See you all in my next video. Let's get into this video. Black people, black people, come here. I'm talking all black people. I'm talking communists, socialists, okay? Resistors, okay? I'm talking liberals, progressives, even your conservatives. You can, you can come here too, okay? You can come here too, but just just chill, y'all, okay? Be, be easy. But anyways, this message is for black people, and I'm speaking to y'all. Let me say my identity for the identity stuff, okay? I am a full-on indigenous comic. I'm talking to black people. This message for black people. Y'all might come across a video, somebody that is not black, crying, having a meltdown in your face, screaming at y'all, camera screaming at you, right? I'm um, trying to indicate that you are unaware of the United States violence as an imperial Western nation, okay? Specifically screaming at y'all liberals and progressives, okay? Um, I want you to know that that is literally insane. That is literally insane. And and don't don't let people play in your face. I don't care if they cry and have a meltdown or not, okay? And I'm saying this once again, let me say my other identity, okay? With ancestry to the Americas, okay? I am a African, okay? Born in West Africa, immigrant. Do not let people play in your face and try to tell you that you are unaware of the United States violence when you as a black person in any one of those areas that I just listed, okay? Communist, socialist, leftist, progressive, liberals, okay? That you are unaware of the United States violence, okay? That you are unaware that the United States is violent, that you are unaware of the violence of the United states when you are experiencing it firsthand every fucking day that your ancestors before the united states was even the united states your ancestors was experiencing the violence of these systems okay the ancestors by the way who was fighting in all areas back then too okay i'm talking the res resistors okay i'm talking people who were trying to collaborate talking working away all through slavery okay fighting that fighting through jim crow fighting through civil rights okay i'm talking black panther party the commies okay fighting with arms and shit going to washington with, with ak's okay i'm talking people the move movement that was literally divesting out of all the shit to get pumped and shit like that. I'm talking Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm talking about all the violence that you experience in the United States, right? And you still experience to this day and finding every arena, whichever way is my non monolith, non monolithic people, right? Fighting every way in any space that you could find. That fight, wherever you are standing, is indication that you know of the violence. And anybody that's trying to convince you that you stupid and are not aware is letting you know that they are unaware. It's your life and your experiences and your history that they're disregarding to say some stupid shit like that to you okay and as an african from the continent i want you to know when people come to you and say the united states is violence and white violence and stuff like that there's a huge portion that's being left out of the violence that we're experiencing on the continent that they not staying in your face okay today but i'm gonna keep it copacetic for just this video and let y'all know don't let nobody get on this fucking internet and scream to you as a black person living in the imperial core experiencing what you experience from your government convince you that you are unaware or try to tell you and cry and break down in your face that you are unaware of the violence that is literally insane Okay, once again, as an indigenous comedy, there's a lot of shit I disagree with with how liberals and progressive moves, but never in my fucking black ass mind do I think and think to myself that they are underwear, unaware of the violence, that of the systemic violence, of the United States violence, okay? United States violence. I'm not that fucking ignorant, okay? That fucking ignorant to say that shit or try to imply that shit, okay? So when somebody come to you and do that, that's not black, they not black. And try to play that bullshit in your face. Try to play that bullshit. Do not let yourself be subjugated. Do not let yourself be subjugated. Subjugated to that fucking bullshit. 
okay and that's all i'm gonna say in this video is for when that shit pop up on your fyp or anything like that so you're fully aware that there's somebody playing in your fucking face and telling you that you are unaware of the violence that you experience every goddamn motherfucking day okay okay have a nice day morning i have a few questions and this is for the watermelon community um i just want to ask you a question because a lot of people from the watermelon community tend to not look like me yeah um for those of you that don't believe in racism answer this math equation for me what is zero black women plus zero black men i'll, I'll give you time to figure out that if you got the answer zero then that's exactly why we are voting the way that we are because without us who's going to talk for you because some of the individuals that do not look like me that do not look like me are very performative they do anything and they attach themselves to anything but it it amazes me how nobody is talking about sudan congo and things that it, it's multiple things going on at one time simultaneously but if you want us here in the united states to continue to be what we have always been for every other every other community we are always at the at the head of the conversation for every community and the one time that we are trying to put ourselves first to make sure that we can continue to put you first you tell us that we're performative we're genocide this and g side that it pisses me off that's why i don't talk about it because when i said something a while ago and i even came and confronted some of my mutual black creators of why don't you talk why do you talk about watermelon more than you talk about all these other places because to me one is not more important than the other they're equally as important because nobody should be out here losing their lives based off of who they are but for you individuals to sit up on this app and tell us if we vote for kamala harris who is for us who is trying to make sure that we remain free who is trying to make sure that we are allowed the privacy of our own bodies and that project 2025 does not happen for you to tell us, that lets us know that you could care less about us. And see, a lot of people might get upset by what I say and I really don't give five fucks. Because how can I worry about other people when I'm too busy worrying about my motherfucking self, my children that look like me, my children that God allowed me to give birth to. So for all of you unmelanated and some of you broken melanated, talking about some, I'm not going to vote. I'm voting third party. Fuck you. Fuck you. you. Because that's how I feel that what you're saying to me and those that look like me, me and mothers and fathers that have children. That's what you're saying to us. So if it's a fuck me, it's a goddamn fuck you too. And that's how I feel. I don't give a fuck about how nobody feel about it. I, If it was up to me, none of these wars would be going on. None of them. Because we all deserve to live. We all deserve to have food, adequate health care, safe places to live. We all deserve this shit. We all deserve this shit. But you want me to stop worrying about the fire that's in my own house to put out your fire as I burn in front of you. Ain't that a bitch. But y'all be blessed. And to the Olympics, I don't even give a fuck about that. France ain't never been for black folks. Let's get that understood. Y'all have a good day though. And good morning. This is all I got from this video and the reality is that I, I do not see anything wrong with uh, black people saying that uh, it is time for us to focus on what is going on in our own place rather than running around. And the truth is that uh, you all have really fought so hard. When I say so hard, so hard than any other person. Oh, sorry, than any other people, right? 
And the fact that Palestine, Palestinians are coming out to say that uh, they are disappointed or they are not going to join us in the race, the truth is that uh, we were, or we've not been waiting for anybody to do something for us. Black people have always been on the go all those while. Black people doing their thing. And they are not expecting you also to return favor. I mean, whatever they did for you during the protest that happened, the watermelon protest, was because they felt what was going on was a G side and needed to stop and wish that everybody read out their voices. To this very moment, I still see so many black platforms that still talk about what is going on in Palestine, but I rarely see them, the watermelon people, I rarely see them come out to talk about uh, the things affecting people that look like me, whether the police brutality, whether what's going on in Congo, in Sudan, and other places. Now, we all remember that our black people already had some cases, like recent cases, where some uh, some people were on alive. It has always been black people always on the move. We do not see them tag or start protests, which we are also not expecting them to come out and assist us. But coming out online to make people look like they are fools is just something that I do not accept. Let people do what they do. If they helped you at some point, you can be grateful for that and stop coming out like they owe you their life. They do not owe you. They have families too that they need to take care of. They have children that they need to make sure that are in the end of things. So even if they are no longer around, wherever that the kids are going to be or going to be set for them. So what the hell is wrong with you people? Like some people are absolutely, I, mean, I call them ingrates. Because if you are not an ingrate, you won't come out online to start this BS. And uh, like some people actually came out to say that uh, it is not only the watermelon this thing that is going on, going through this side. There are so many African, and the fact that uh there are also so many African countries going through G side, but everybody's completely focused on watermelon because they needed to get all that attention. Like they really gave them the attention and it was all in full. And still, the man is remain the truth is that our black people do not have allies. And you all do not expect that everybody you help will also come back to help you because you all have been doing this all this way. I'm not, I have never seen anybody come to assist you, right? So I am happy for you people. Like you all decided, like it's time for us to focus on the police because I remember Sister Tabitha. If you know Sister Tabitha, she actually was like, she is done with posting. She said it. She said she is done with posting uh, watermelon uh, videos and all that. Now, that doesn't mean that she is disconnecting or not. She still support them, but she will not be making videos about them. Why? Because she needs to focus on the coming election, which she actually did a great job. I mean, the truth, one thing I love about black women is that they see ahead of time. They see ahead. And the same thing they talked about is exactly what is happening this very moment. But it is what it is. We keep going, we'll move on, and life goes on. But yeah, we should always learn every day. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.